Oh well. Oh well. I just lost the football game. I scored 22 points in the first quarter and 7 in the fourth. I lost 29-32. You can't win all the time, and since this is a video game, I could just turn it off and play it again. But what would that accomplish? In real life, you just can't stop and restart and start it over from the beginning again. In reality, you have to go through life every day wondering, why am I going through this life in this manner, in this fashion, at this day and age, and in these times? Why? Why do I do this? Why do I do that? You wonder, and you constantly guess why. Apparently, over the last few days, I've rubbed a few people. People have woke up, and people see that any time that you you caught slip any time you caught slipping you can lose everything you can you could be forced to start all over people lose wives husbands children houses cars lives now last few weeks or days i've been through a lot of drama and stress and strain why because of a decision, decisions made, consequences, decisions, actions. Am I hurting? No. Do I feel strain? Yes, I feel a tremendous responsibility and everyone out there who has ever been in any situation similar or close, remember this. From Jay Trilee and all these guys who've been in the system all that paperwork that they put in place on you people out there in even myself black out your name put it on the internet so people see it you can say people did this to you people did that to me and you just sound like somebody bitching and crying about situations oh this happened this happened you're just bitching and crying If people begin to see injustice on a wide scale, then people will begin to fight injustice. If somebody has wronged you and there's paperwork, their paper trail of how this is what I'm going to do to these people. This is how this played out. You let everybody see how somebody else got away with doing something to you. If I don't do nothing but bitch and cry then maybe that's my maybe I'm supposed to bitch and cry maybe I'm supposed to show people something that their eyes are closed to a lot of people say man you be tripping how am I tripping when I sit back and I watch people get thrown I watch people thrown away you know there was a movie not too long ago called the matrix and in the matrix you know it was like regular life but people were actually you know in some like cocoon igloo things or whatever they was just all wrapped up and they was plugged in people are so plugged in they fail to realize reality on my other channel I spoke about how many times I've won the Super Bowl how many times I've won the NBA championships? How many times I've driven race cars all throughout Hawaii? How many times that I faced reality through a machine? What is reality? Is reality going to get your girl or some baby fat? Some fat farm? Is reality getting a big old necklace and put on your neck and walk down the street and shit? Is that reality to have a bunch of fake ass gold teeth in your mouth for a two years period? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm grilled down. Is that reality going in and out of prison and you're thinking it's cool and shit? That is slavery. We are slaves to every single thing around us. We are slaves to need. 
At least the dope fiend knows what he wants. A dope fiend wants his crank, his crack, and whatever he's on. An alcoholic wants his drink. They know what they want. We as regular people without no problems and no vices and well, the perfect motherfuckers, all of us, we don't know what our addictions are. You understand what I'm saying? You know what your addiction is? I'm talking to you. You, you. Don't turn your motherfucking to you. I'm talking to you. You know what your addiction is? Do you go to Starbucks? Addiction. You need cable? Addiction. Oh, wait a minute. What they did, what they say in the commercial? That's not even in HD. Addiction. Addiction to things that are used to, okay, a television, okay, that's a relaxing tool. A friend of mine said, remember they used to call it the idiot box. Why did they call the television the idiot box? Because those people who sit in front of TVs constantly find a false sense of reality through visions that somebody are placing into your heads. Oh, we on the internet looking at you? Ain't that a false sense of reality? It is. Looking at someone else's reality is a false sense of reality for yourself. What I do here on YouTube is a learning tool. Learn from my mistakes. That's why they call me the grandfather of YouTube. I'm not the only brother on YouTube. I'm not the oldest brother on YouTube. But I speak in a manner towards I'm teaching you children as mentally challenged type motherfuckers right from wrong. Because no one has showed you right from wrong. You can't learn right from wrong if no one shows you. And what is right from wrong? You know how many people I have murdered? I've killed hundreds and thousands of people. I can prove it. Right here. How many people you think I killed on this one? Huh? How many people you think I killed on this one? How many decapitations? It's a false sense of reality. Oh, wait a minute. I got more. Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas. PC edition. How many people I've killed on this one? How many times have I run police cars off the street on this one? Saints Row 2. I got Saints Row 1. Also, how many people have you taught, have been taught how to murder and kill with this shit? Transformers? Oh, well, shit, that's robots. Spider-Man 3, 99 Nights. Like I said, some people out there told me I ain't never won a Super Bowl. I've won over 30 Super Bowls. I've been winning Super Bowls since 1996. I've been winning Super Bowls since 96. I've played more than one undefeated season. But that's a false sense of reality. In reality, I'm five foot seven, and when I played football, I was a middle linebacker, and I was a cornerback, and I was a third string quarterback. I think we won five games in reality. But in a false sense of reality, I can go to the Super Bowl damn near every year. I even start in the Super Bowl. I wear number one for the Oakland Raiders. And that is what our problem is. The idiot box has evolved and turned people, what's, what's, what's lower than an idiot? We need to wake up and face a real reality. People don't grow their own food no more. People don't cook their own food anymore. People don't know how to read and write. And when you used to have that little black book, people don't have little black books anymore. The mind is all mushed down. And you tell me all I do is bitch and cry. Look at the state of us. And you know why. You find any knowledge in this one, pass it on. Let's go, Romeo. Let's go.